Hey, how's it going guys? Matt and Jack here with the Toasty Bros. And today, we're checking out the top five keyboards that are under $20. Yeah, so these are some gaming keyboards that you can get under 20 bucks. We do these roundups every so often and go all the way up to about 50 or 60 bucks. Then we reset back down to 20. And uh, yeah, we got a lot of cool gaming keyboards here. But before we dive into that, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Looking for an affordable gaming headset? Well, today's video sponsor Corsair has you covered with their new HS55 stereo headset, featuring great gaming audio, along with a built-in omnidirectional microphone that is Discord certified and compatibility for PC, Mac, and the latest consoles. Oh, and it is one of the most comfortable headsets I have worn at this price point. It features all day comfort that I don't see a lot in budget headsets. Learn more about this headset by checking the link down below and special thanks again to Corsair for sponsoring today's video. So we've done mini keyboard and mice and headset roundups by now. And yeah, this is another keyboard one. It's under $20. So don't expect a whole lot, but also we've been very surprised in the past where we'll have a random mechanical hot swap keyboard thrown of the bunch. So we definitely do our best to find some weird ones and some oddballs, but we got full size all the way down to 60%. We're going to have all different switch types and membrane types and RGB types, and we're going to basically plug them in. We're going to test each one of them. We're going to tell you guys our impressions of them. So let's go ahead and pick one. Which one do you want to do? This one's been catching my eye. This one right Is here. Is it actually well, pink though? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Let's do it. So first keyboard we have here is the V700 RGB streamer single zone keyboard. That's a long name. And look at this. I see PUBG and some other games on PUBG. there. But yeah, so here's like a basic picture of it. We got the black, but it comes in pink and white as well. It says that it has RGB and suspended keycaps. I don't know what keyboard doesn't have suspended keycaps. I think they all kind of, you know, float in a way, but um, it looks pretty cool though. It reminds me of a HyperX keyboard. I feel like I've had this exact same keyboard where it has like a little HyperX logo, uh, which is obviously a much, you know, higher end one, but wow, bonus. It came with a mouse pad. And I will have to say this was $14. $14, so that's pretty crazy. It says, Ma what does this say? Magma? Mamba? Magma. It's Mamba Snake. It looked like Magma, but I think Mamba's, it's Mamba. Mamba Snake, okay. Mamba Snake. <laughs> so there we go. Good um, start. We got the keyboard here. It actually has detached kit. No, it doesn't, okay. It's just in there. Okay, You're so. You're asking for too much. It smells. It smells very strongly of plastic. It looks but thick. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, God, this is light. Like I've never felt, <laughs> I mean, I know it's 60%, but it just feels hollow. Like there's nothing in it. Um, it looks fairly good. I mean, it's like Matt said, it's thick. It doesn't have any uh, risers on the back. It just kind of is what it is. It's a 61 key, but let's just see how it, oh my Oh, God. that's that's gonna be fun during the typing test. Yeah, so shift and enter, shift and enter sound god off. Everything else isn't too bad, but it's definitely membrane. Um, it almost has like a Memcam feel though. It has a very like tough click, if that makes sense. It's hard to depress, so I don't know. They kind of went for something. Got some it, resistance yeah, there. Yeah, you gotta press that, that enter button though. Oh, That's sharp. it is clingy. Like it has like tin can sound to it. So I'm gonna plug it in and see what it looks like. Should have some <laughs> lighting come on here in a second. <laughs> oh, there you go. that's that actually like kind of RGB? That actually looks fluid. Like what yeah. the heck? Okay, <laughs> let's, uh, let's try different mode. Okay, that's definitely chunky, but What's throwing me off? The no, we. This is true RGB lighting. Like yeah. it's actually smooth. It's actually not it's like. Sound like what the you're... gradient stuff. Yeah, too. I'm gonna pop off one of these because I mean I know it's membrane, but I'm just curious what we got underneath here. By the way, they, you, you know we have plenty of tools for this, but I don't feel like finding them. So yeah, definitely a big old membrane uh, key. But yeah, I'm definitely so so far the big redeeming qualities for this keyboard are the fact that it actually has true. RGB, which I love to see. I mean, this is rare to see on a keyboard that's under $30 a lot of times. Um, like I said, membrane keys, not the greatest, but they feel decent. This is definitely some minus points, the sharpness. Let's go ahead and do a typing test on it and kind of go from there. <laughs> do you guys like that? What, what you are your like thoughts typing on it? It's not bad. I mean, honestly, compared to other memory keyboards, it felt good. I kind of see what they're saying about the suspended keycaps. I guess what I'm thinking is those normal office keyboards, you know, the keys are very low. They don't have a lot of travel. With this, you do get a little bit of that click and you get a little bit of that mechanical feel. So it's very Memcam like. Yeah, it's pretty decent so far. Are we doing rating this time? We're gonna have Yeah, we'll, 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 yeah. we'll rating. So right now, the first right now, it's number one. <laughs> but we, and we do have to keep this in mind. I mean, for 14 bucks, like I think if this was a more expensive keyboard, we can't, we don't, who cares about this, right? Like it doesn't matter. But the fact that like it's only $14, I mean, this you might pay eight bucks for alone. So it has to give a little bit of points. For Mamba right? Snake. The Mamba Snake. Next up, we have a 
Mage Gi keyboard, but honestly, that lower third right there is gonna be something different because the biggest issue with these mechanical keyboards, well, I just spoiled it, it's a mechanical keyboard. The biggest issue with these keyboards is you're buying from some company that sells another brand. And when you buy the listing, it says like 60% keyboard, and it says nothing else. So I can't really tell which keyboard's which, if I'm being perfectly honest here. But I believe because this one is mechanical, and I don't know what it, it says on the box. Cereal. I figured I'd oh, just yeah. show that yeah. in case. Yeah, maybe they can match that up made somehow. Uh, made in China. Um, but, yeah, this one's mechanical and the box on the inside is pretty basic, you know, because they're trying to save some cost here. If you're paying $16 for a mechanical keyboard, I don't think it gets much cheaper than that in, I think we're, I we, got, we got mechanical switches. This device complies with part 15 of FCC rules. You know what, I'm just not gonna waste any more time with that. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and open this up. Now here is the keyboard and it looks like any old Meiji keyboard. I mean, we've used this brand so many times in roundups with mice, headset and keyboards. They just, I guess a lot of companies just take this product and this just sell it. Different. Um, oh yeah, what is this? A1, A2, I guess there's a little macro area. I don't know. I mean, and then you function for home and page up. I mean, not many people use home and page up, so I guess you got that going for you. Um, let's look on the back real quick. So we do have some flip out feet and cable routing. That's cool to see. So you can route your cable nice and clean underneath the keyboard. And there are non-slip pads, so it'll sit nice and uh, firm on your uh, desk. Look. It's not going anywhere. Um, over here on the escape key, boop, we have a blue switch. And uh, I don't know if Jackson can see what it is or if I need to look really closely. Here, let me he's gonna see. Get, he's gonna get laser focused. Here we, oh, oh man, oh man. Forgot it won't even. Oh man, it's too see, small to focus. Yeah, here, here's where the focal point. All right, let, let, You know let what me... I did actually? I bought magnifying glasses. Oh, you did? Yeah, they sh I think they're here. Maybe. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and zoom in here. Can this work on the camera? Oh yeah, I wonder. Getting a lot of glare. I can just okay. see your forehead. <laughs> All right, you can just see my forehead. So this is a Jixian switch. Oh, so okay. Jixian. So I think we've seen that once or twice. Yeah, we've seen that in uh, budget mechanical keyboards before. So there's that, and uh, yeah, so 10 keyless design, really nice. It's not like the 60% or really compact design that a lot of gamers want, but I prefer like a 10 keyless any day, um, especially compared to like a full size board. So we're gonna go ahead and plug it up and take a look at that RGB. Hopefully our laptop is still working at the moment. It's red at the moment. Uh, let's see if I can figure out. So there's function and that's brightness. So this is make someone run faster? Yeah, okay, so we're gonna run this way. Is it really just the direction Try of the, the LEDs? maybe. Okay, I think it is just I'm red, but it's red different vibes. effects. Yep. So I mean, that's that's okay. I mean, I don't know how much more RGB LEDs actually cost to be honest, but going with this static red and getting mechanical switches, I would live with that trade off if I was looking to get a keyboard under $20. So we got that going for us, but yeah, so far looking pretty good. Let's do a typing test. Okay, so felt like a blue switch keyboard. Honestly, there was a keyboard, I don't know it was a setup we did recently, that the blue switch keyboard was like really bad. This one's much better actually. Um, I don't know if it's just the frame where it's actually like a hard plastic. I don't know, that's, is that a metal? It kind of feels like metal. Jackson, be, be the metal verifier. I can't, yeah, I'm gonna I think metal. it's a metal. It's like cold to the touch, so I think it's some sort of metal. <laughs> You're um, but touch. yeah, yes. But the metal finish, I think it's good. I, I think this one's first place right now. Yeah, I mean, it's a mechanical I'll keyboard under 20 bucks. Let's All move right, it to first, first. place. So next up we have the Uru, Uru? Uno, Uno. I, I can't even tell what this says, but it's the UMK 100 mechanical keyboard and it's RGB. So we have some little fun notes, mechanical switches, compact, 19 lighting effects, and gaming software, whatever that means. <laughs> and then I, I like, I already pre-read, the keyboard is not hot swappable, which is good to know. But let's go ahead and see what we got here. This one came in like a really tall box. Oh, this is why. Wow, a, a wrist, wrist rest. rest. Dang. All right, this one could move up. I wonder what kind of switches we got. Probably. I think they're all blues. I like it. Can you even get cheap red switches? I don't know. I think the blue switches blues? are traditional here. So it looks like we have a 65% give or take. We have true arrow keys. We have some of the like page up and delete and all that stuff. So we got what we need. We got the bare essentials, but it looks pretty good. We do not, we do a flip up. Ooh, multi height flip up. Feet. Ooh, adjustable. All right. Some points for that. Let's actually see. I'm going to open this wrist rest. I mean, why not? I mean, that's pretty cool for a keyboard like this. It is because it's a, a nice wrist rest too. It's very padded. Now the only downside is it's not like a magnetic one. I almost felt like it, it had some gravitational pull, but it is fitted. It's actually like the right size. It even has a little bit of like a dent out here where you'd be using WSD for gaming. Um, once again, not hot swap. I don't really think any of these are gonna be hot swap. 
That Habit one could have, or the Maggie one could have been. But it didn't come with the hot swap like yeah, tools. Yeah, so. so it's not something we want to try. Now, this is a huge bonus, USB-C, and it's disconnectable. So that, Universal. that is huge because a lot of people might want to use this cable for other things. They might want to buy their own cable. I mean, you can actually get really cool artists and cables. I don't know who would buy like a nice <laughs> cable because the cable would cost more than the keyboard, but blue switches and they don't, they don't sound bad. Yeah, I don't hear anything with like really bad stabilizers or anything. So now let's just see what this looks like because if this looks good too, I'm automatically calling this a first place. This is also a Jinx. Yeah, Jixian, not Jinx. 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 <laughs> Jinx. Jinx, gotcha. But yeah, so Blue Switch, um, let's go ahead and try to see if we can change modes. This, I mean, it's very bright when you do this type of LED, but I don't think you're gonna be able to actually move. I think they're just RGB, or not RGB, I mean. Yeah, so this isn't the real, like, they have like an RGB ring on the box, but I, that, that, that's not there accurate. We okay, we got lighting. See, I mean, it doesn't look bad. It's really bright. I will say it's brighter than I think the true RGB mm -hmm. one that we had at first, but other than that, I mean, at least you got RGB. It's better than just red, I guess. I mean, I think you could probably, actually, I mean, can you even get a solid color, I wonder? Well, I'm thinking with these keyboards, they actually use like green LEDs and- That's, that's yeah. what I, I don't, so maybe you might not be able to get a solid color. So that's one kind of downside is if you don't want RGB, you might just have to either turn the lighting off. Yeah, because this has 19, yeah, so that's just it. That's it. All right, well, let's do a typing test. I mean, I feel like it has to replace the other blue switch one because it at least has colors and it's smaller. We do yeah. like I don't even 65. have it in the right order right now, I just realized. <laughs> it's not in the right order. So we're gonna rearrange some stuff. But I'm gonna say, because I think if this one didn't come with a wrist rest, it'd be, it'd be a close like yeah. tie. But I think the wrist rest adds to it. The disattachable cable really adds to it. So yeah, I'm gonna say this one's in first. The other, the Magic E is um, second and then our Membrane keyboard is in third. Let's go to the next one. So with these roundups, there's always keyboards that disappear. And uh, when we played in this video, this was a keyboard and mouse combo that was $17. And, it's just uh, three in one. And, oh, oh mouse, it's a full mouse pad. I didn't know that was with it either. Um, but it was $17, uh, but of course the link doesn't exist anymore. So you might not be able to buy this one, but at least I'll show you guys what it looks like. Oh boy, oh my, Ooh. what is going on here? Whoa, Okay. Lightweight? All right, so. Um, what do you do if that was in, like a Model O? <laughs> model O, all right, so we have. What that is say? not the pick, okay, hold up. This is. Can this... we talk about, look at the back. It literally shows a full extended, <laughs> oh my God, it shows an RGB mouse, Matt. Even. Oh my God, this is a scam. Uh, Zinming? Zinming? Zingming? All right, there's okay. that. I mean, it looks cool, I'll give them props. I mean. um, we have a mouse, which is a faux lightweight mouse called the Diodge. Diage G11 RGB gaming mouse. Uh, this weird like green branding, I was not expecting this from Diage. Which is it, not the same brand as And it's mechanical, expecting. this is a mechanical keyboard. At least no, it's, it's, it's Diogo. Diogo, <laughs> is this Diego? <laughs> Everybody, let's go. All right, so we have like this blue Whoa. metallic background. Anodized. Background, that anodized, whatever it you want to call it. Someone's. Ew, is that a uh, hair? Someone's hair? Uh, okay, that's fun. Um, and uh, yeah, this is full size. So if you want a full size keyboard, you got that. And of course, woo. those things are clicky. Let's see, are we looking with the, oh, we got a, a box, box switch and it is, I can't even read that. <laughs> I still can't even read it. I'm gonna say it's a, a blue switch. It's a Jinx. It's, it's, it's a Jixian. Uh, Jixian. I don't think it's Jixian. It starts with like an R, so I have no idea what that means. RAR. RAR <laughs> it's the RAR switch. Um, but um, yeah, we got this whole setup, man. $17, that's pretty good. <laughs> Even this, rival th this is our next full setup right here. This rivals the Booga setup. I mean, <laughs> Booga is out here charging what? Like I think it was almost $10 for the keyboard, yeah. and like seven for the mouse. I think it's a bargain. Let's just plug everything up. I know this is technically, I mean, if you want to call this cheating, <laughs> call it cheating. But like, if you get extra stuff with a keyboard for the price you pay for a keyboard, I think it's cool. And of course, static RGB. I didn't expect anything different. <laughs> um, so do function and maybe delete. Okay. <laughs> Now you're never gonna get it back. So there's that. I mean, again, the same like individual LEDs, static layer right there. So we got that. I didn't look at the feet. Oh, there's slip out feet. Oh yeah. Zach's gonna get so excited. Never skip the feet. And more. then, uh, yeah, anti-slip pads, which are pretty solid. So that's that. So let's go ahead and plug up the mouse and then we'll dive into the typing test. The value is there. Uh, well, look at, why is this RGB? Actually, is that RGB? It's moving. Yeah. Okay, it's so real. why is this RGB, but this isn't? 
I don't know. Cost. What a combo. At what cost would I do this? All right, so let's say you're playing Fortnite and you have this. First of all, disappointed it's not extended in RGB, but I mean, it's not that bad. Let's just go ahead and do a typing test. It, <laughs> I'm trying to find my words here. The switches feel tighter which is a word, I, that's why I was like trying to find a better word, but they feel more, I don't know, you just you just gotta touch it, but like, it just feels a little bit more firm. Virgin switches, for sure. Yeah, sure. Um, but <laughs> I like it, I think it's good, and you get a whole freaking combo, so, I mean, this has to be first, but I feel like it has to be like a first with an asterisk, you know, like, there's a chance it's using performance enhancing drugs. I don't drugs. think it'd be first without the keyboard and mouse. That is fair, so. With, with, yeah, without the keyboard. <laughs> It wouldn't be first without the mouse and the mouse. Without pad. the keyboard, it definitely wouldn't be first. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll put first um, pending review for performance enhancing drugs. All right. Okay, so next up we have the <laughs> Sinper Dairy. The Sinper Dairy. I feel like I can't say that. I don't, I don't even know. But anyways, so we have black RGB and it's actually hand checked. So we do have some other options back there if you guys want to take a look at those. But this is the K68 and is a 68 key RGB lighted gaming keyboard. And it says it has a built-in steel plate. It says it's RGB with the full it's the same thing as the last million, one. but I do not believe it's 16.8 million colors. And this one I don't think is mechanical because it has a suspended switch thing. I think this one's very similar to the first one. Yeah, I'm definitely getting first one vibes. You guys remember the first one? It could one, literally right? be the first one with just different keycaps. It could be that we actually might've gone back in time. McAllister might've used the wrong clip and this is the first one. They gave us an extra suspended key. Oh wow, how nice oh, of Look them. at that, it's an escapee, an escape. So cute. Yeah, so we got a little instruction manual, comes uh, in some plastic. Of course it is just a fixed cable. And yeah, here it is. It looks very much. It does look very similar. It even types pretty similar. It feels pretty similar. There's like some weird, like is this from my, no, it's just discoloration. Like look there and there. It's like discolored keys. Interesting. Uh, but we do have some flip out feet. The first one did not have that. So no upgrades. Yeah, one thing that's going for it. Let's go ahead and pop this off. Uh, yeah, it's very similar style to the first one for sure. It could even be made by the same company. So wouldn't be surprised there. And now it has added points because it looks cool. But let's go ahead and get it plugged in. Definitely feels cheap, just like the first one. Oh yeah, That RGB again, is there. Just like the first one, we got some real RGB. You can just tell by how the same spot will be different colors. That's thing you can tell if it's fake RGB. Even if it's moving like a wave, it doesn't mean you got real RGB. Focus on one spot and notice right here, just like this, this is all changing to different colors of the spectrum. So there we go. I think it's cool. I think with the white back plate, that really helps with it definitely uh, making it bright. All right. So let's test. go ahead and type test. Oh my god. What a squeaky key. Okay, so we might have just gotten one that was just a little unlucky, but base bar every so often definitely has that audible squeal to it. <laughs> it squeals. <Whee! laughs> but yeah, anyway, so yeah, it reminds me just of the first one. I'm almost gonna say that the first one was me. No, the first one had the loud enter <laughs> yes okay, so yeah, was... this is actually better i think i can deal with the squeal better than that rattly enter so this one key. like fourth place then the um, rgb kind of saves it a little bit it does it does let's because we got three what, mechanical yeah, keyboards up front i guess this one would be like fourth fifth yeah. basically so all right let's go ahead and get them all back on the table talk about them and go from there all right guys we got the keyboards rated and we are going from first to worst and Honestly, none of these for under $20 were a bad price in my opinion. I think they all definitely served their purpose. They all had really good lighting. Normally we get like one or two keyboards that has no lighting, even like the 30 and $40 roundups. The only one that wasn't true RGB was this guy right here, but it was mechanical. And we did have three mechanical, three of the fives. That's a pretty, pretty good track record for us. Now, I will say this first place one is a weird one because it is no longer for sale at the normal price. It doesn't come with the mouse and the mouse pad extra, and it's more expensive. So really, this one's kind of first. Yeah, this one's first. This one got disqualified for doing bad things. So yeah. if you want to buy any of the keyboards from today's roundup, links down below will be affiliate links that will help us out. Let us know if there's any other roundups you want to see here on the channel, and uh, let us know what budget you want to see next for the next keyboard roundup. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toasty bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.
So at PC Bros, we actually sell keyboards and mice and other things. We sell them locally, so if you ever have a chance to stop by, you can definitely come pick some of these up. PC Bros Tech is where we sell gaming PCs, gaming laptops, and again, these keyboards will be over at PC Bros. And if you use code TOSYBROS2 on checkout, you can save 2%. See you guys later. Goodbye. Peace out. Now to right, do a thousand B-roll pieces.